For centuries, humanity has pondered its origins. We are undeniably unique on Earth, with complex brains and a yearning to explore the cosmos. But what if the answer to, who we are, lies not on this planet, but amongst the stars? Dr. Ella Silver, a renowned ecologist, made a bold claim in his book, Humans Are Not From Earth, A Scientific Evaluation of the Evidence. He argued that overwhelming evidence suggests humans originated elsewhere in the universe and arrived on Earth much later in our evolutionary history. Dr. Silver wasn't a fringe figure. He was a respected scientist with a distinguished career. But his theory of extraterrestrial origins challenges the well-established theory of human evolution. So, is there any merit to his claims? Let's dive deeper. Dr. Silver raises some interesting points. He highlights certain aspects of human anatomy that seem poorly adapted to our environment, like our weak backs compared to other primates. But these can be explained by a unique evolutionary path. Bipedalism, walking upright, freed our hands for tool use and ultimately led to our advanced brains. Evolutionary biologists acknowledge some anomalies, but believes traditional evolutionary theory can account for them. But Dr. Silver goes further. Dr. Silver points out the lack of clear transitional fossils between early hominids and modern humans. It's a valid concern. The fossil record is incomplete, and there are gaps in our understanding. The missing fossils are a sticking point for Dr. Silver. He argues that they suggest a sudden appearance of modern humans, hinting at an extraterrestrial intervention. However, astrophysicists offers another perspective. The fossil record is constantly evolving. New discoveries are being made all the time. Maybe the missing link simply hasn't been found yet. The search for the missing link continues, but Dr. Silver doesn't rely solely on fossils. Dr. Silver highlights a curious fact about human DNA. We share a significant amount of genetic material with other life forms on Earth, but there are also some mysterious junk sequences with no known function. Junk DNA is a misnomer. We're still learning about its purpose. It might hold regulatory functions or be remnants of ancient viral infections. Evolutionary biologists believe that there's a more conventional explanation for junk DNA. But Dr. Silver suggests a more radical possibility. These unexplained sequences could be leftover genetic code from our alien ancestors, remnants of their advanced technology embedded in our DNA. While intriguing, Dr. Silver's genetic argument lacks concrete evidence. However, he presents another intriguing concept. Dr. Silver compares the human brain to a supercomputer, arguing its complexity is far beyond what natural selection alone could explain. He proposes the possibility of us being genetically engineered by an advanced alien civilization. The human brain is indeed complex, but evolution can be incredibly creative. Millions of years of natural selection could have resulted in this intricate organ. Dr. Silver doesn't stop at biology. He delves into the realm of human history and archaeology. Many ancient cultures share myths and legends of beings from the sky who bestowed knowledge upon humanity. Could these be distorted memories of our extraterrestrial origins? Ancient myths are fascinating, but they're often metaphorical or symbolic. Attributing them to literal extraterrestrial contact is a big leap. Archaeologists caution against taking myths literally. However, Dr. Silver points to another enigma, megalithic structures like the Pyramids of Giza. These structures are incredibly complex and precise. The technology required to build them seems far beyond the capabilities of the civilizations that supposedly constructed them. Were they aided by extraterrestrial visitors? It is still a question. The engineering feats of the ancients are impressive, but archaeologists offer a more grounded explanation. 
These structures are testaments to human ingenuity and perseverance. Our ancestors were far more skilled and resourceful than we often give them credit for. While archaeologists believe that human innovation explains these wonders, Dr. Silver isn't convinced. He argues that the sheer number of unexplained phenomena across various disciplines points towards a hidden truth. If Dr. Silver is right, is there any evidence beyond our planet? The search for extraterrestrial intelligence, SETI, is actively scanning the cosmos for signals from advanced civilizations. The universe is vast, and the possibility of life existing elsewhere is very real. As SETI's mission is to detect potential signs of intelligent life out there. The search for extraterrestrial intelligence continues, but so far, no definitive proof has been found. However, researchers at SETI remain optimistic. The lack of a confirmed signal yet doesn't disprove the existence of extraterrestrial intelligence. Our technology might simply not be sensitive enough to pick up their signals, or maybe interstellar communication is far more complex than we imagine. The possibility of encountering intelligent life beyond Earth continues to capture our imagination. But Dr. Silver's theory goes a step further. Are we not just visitors, but descendants of those visitors? Dr. Silver passed away in 2017, leaving behind a legacy of controversy and intrigue. His theory of extraterrestrial origins is not widely accepted by the scientific community. Dr. Silver's ideas are certainly thought-provoking, but they lack the kind of solid evidence needed to be taken seriously in mainstream science. The theory is interesting, but right now, there's just not enough data to support it. However, Dr. Silver's work does highlight the gaps in our understanding of human evolution and the vastness of the universe. The search for answers about our origins continues. While Dr. Silver's theory may not be the answer, it has sparked a renewed interest in these fundamental questions. The question of where we come from is a powerful one, igniting our curiosity and inspiring generations of thinkers. Dr. Ellis Silver's work, no matter how controversial, has contributed to this ongoing quest for knowledge. Dr. Silver's book captured the public imagination. Many found his ideas fascinating, a refreshing alternative to traditional narratives. Dr. Silver's book made me think differently about humanity's place in the universe. It's exciting to imagine we might be connected to something bigger, something beyond our planet. The interest in extraterrestrial origins extends far beyond Dr. Silver's work. The field of astrobiology is attracting increasing attention, exploring the possibility of life existing elsewhere. The public's fascination with Dr. Silver's theory highlights the deep human desire to understand our place in the cosmos. It fuels our efforts in SETI and other endeavors to search for life beyond Earth. As we continue to explore the cosmos, the possibility of encountering intelligent life, even if not our creators, becomes more real with each passing year. Dr. Ellis Silver may not have definitively proven our extraterrestrial origins, but he has opened our minds to the vast possibilities that lie beyond our planet. The universe holds countless secrets waiting to be unraveled, and the question of where we come from remains a compelling mystery that continues to drive our exploration. Perhaps someday, through scientific discovery or a chance encounter, we will find the answer. Until then, Dr. Silver's work serves as a reminder to keep asking questions, to push the boundaries of our knowledge, and to never stop searching for the truth about our place in the universe. <laughs>